Liz Truss has officially become the UK's new Prime Minister. She's taken over from Boris Johnson after winning a vote to become the new leader of the Conservative Party. Ricky was in Downing Street yesterday and sent us this report, but please watch out for flashes at the beginning of this video. Leaving the corridors of power for the last time. Boris Johnson has been in charge during huge moments like the COVID-19 pandemic and Brexit as the UK left the European Union. But along the way, there were scandals and eventually members of his own party forced him to quit. Thank you all very much. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you. So there we go, Boris Johnson bringing to an end his three years as the Prime Minister here at number 10 Downing Street. He's now off to Balmoral Castle, where he will officially resign in front of the Queen. The change of Prime Minister usually involves a quick car journey from Downing Street to Buckingham Palace, just down the road. This time, Boris Johnson and Liz Truss travelled separately by plane to meet the Queen, who's staying at Balmoral Castle. The long journey and bad weather meant the country was without a Prime Minister for a little longer than is normal. But here's the moment Liz Truss met the Queen and was appointed Prime Minister in a ceremony called Kissing Hands, though it's thought there was no actual kissing involved. Then back to London and more bad weather as journalists waited on Downing Street to hear her speak. They don't want the lectern to get wet. That brand new lectern, so they, they, they're basically putting it under an umbrella. Eventually, the umbrellas went down and the Prime Minister stepped up to the lectern. So here she is, Liz Truss has arrived on Downing Street. This is essentially her new office. It's also where she will live. She's done that 1,000 mile round trip from Scotland back to England, now here in London. Let's listen to what she has to say. Good afternoon. I have just accepted Her Majesty the Queen's kind invitation to form a new government. I will take action this week to deal with energy bills. We shouldn't be daunted by the challenges we face. As strong as the storm may be, I know that the British people are stronger. I am determined to deliver. Thank you. So that's the first look at Britain's new Prime Minister, Liz Truss, as she heads now into number 10 Downing Street. And she's waving there alongside her husband. And one of the biggest issues that she now faces is that cost of living crisis that we've been talking about on Newsround. And she says she has a plan to try and sort that out, but it's gonna be a big, big job. Opposition political parties who are not on Liz Truss's team think that after 12 years, the Conservatives have run out of ideas, no matter who the Prime Minister is. But Liz Truss will have her chance to share her ideas with other politicians during Prime Minister's questions on Wednesday afternoon, and they will take place here in the Houses of Parliament. And if you want to find out more about her plan as the new Prime Minister, please have a look at our website.